Okay. <clears throat> okay, we set our timer again. I'm only doing these in 10 minute intervals. Okay, so what you find is that the coffin bone winds up uh, taking on the distortion of the hoof capsule in its asymmetries. Um, another thing that happens is, okay, usually on the wider side here that is also at a lower angle um, and is usually on the lateral or outside, um, what you'll find, okay, in uh, the hoof capsule itself here is that the heel will be run forward on this side, but on the other side, which you can't really see here, it won't be run forward quite as much. It'll be um, steeper. And so one thing that I have found is that when your heels run forward, it pushes the lateral cartilage that fills up the back of the, the foot right here that is attached to the back, to this part of the foot. Oh, sorry, right here. Okay, it pushes and puts pressure on the bone in that area and it can actually wear away at the wings of the coffin bone and you see this in this foot like okay let's look at the bottom here okay notice that this side is wider and flatter than this side here again this is the lateral or outside and this is the medial or inside as they say Okay, so notice another thing. Notice that the tip of the wing of the coffin bone, here, let's get it here. Eh, the tip of the wing of the coffin bone, let's see, let me get it, get it back here. On the lateral side is shorter than the tip of the wing of the coffin bone on the medial side. So this is going to make a difference in what you see on the external capsule. And there are going to be some things that they have gone on for a period of time that you're not going to be able to correct. Now, one way you will notice this is when you look down at the bulbs, the bulbs will not be even. One bulb right here will be higher than the other bulb. And as you see, again... Okay, if you look at the joint here, it's not even. It slants. It's higher here than it is here. Now, this creates a problem because, uh, as again, this isn't the right bone, but as I said, joints are supposed to be level. You know, the joints, the foot, if the foot is level right here, the joint that fits into it will be level. If the foot isn't level, then it's gonna it's gonna wear like this. See that? Okay, so again, the joints, you want the joints level. And so, you know, there's different things. This creates, it's the coffin bone itself that ha finally comes down to creating a medial lateral imbalance that you're really not going to be able uh, to correct uh, through corrective trimming. In other words, I do not think that you, you're going to get this bone to remodel back to what it should have been if that horse would have got perfect hoof care its whole life. Okay? So, all you can do is, um, you know, like, okay, my horse Valor... Okay, he had a real, real bad asymmetry on the outside from when I did the whole trimming from the top and rasping down the hoof wall. And the whole side just blew out like that. Okay, now I have corrected it um, to where uh, one of his feet has corrected real well, but the other one, um, it's just not changing as much as I would like on this side of the foot. So, uh, and the bulbs, the bulbs were very uneven. But now the bulbs are a lot more even, and yet now I know from dissecting this foot and studying it that there's going to be a limit to what I can truly correct on him. And, uh, you know, I might have to uh, 
take a little more down off the inside and leave a little more on the outside just so he will be a little more comfortable as far as the way his joints are. And I like to put this. Again, this ain't the right bone, but yeah. This ain't the right bone, but you get the idea. Okay? If this bone was straight, it'd be like that. See what I mean? Probably not doing that quite right. But anyway, you should be able to get my drift from that. So, um, anyway, that's just some things I noticed about this coffin bone how it had taken on the shape. See there? It had taken on the shape of of the hoof capsule okay and this had been worn away right here this bone right here and it's all wide and flattened out on this side so anyway I thought you'd find that interesting now we don't want to get to a point where we don't think we can correct anything as far as bulbs being uneven and and uh, the foot being flared out to one side but as you can see this side here is always going to grow at less of a degreed angle than this side. See there? And you know I'm looking through my little camera lens here and I can also see how this does slightly slant down that way. Okay. Now let's see what else do we want to talk about? Okay, okay, another thing. See, I, I have these uh, I have these bones here in my office, and I'm always grabbing a hold of them and just looking at them, measuring them, and contemplating on them, meditating about, you know, what's going on. Okay, so <clears throat> another thing I noticed, if you watch the anatomy video, what was that? If you watch the anatomy video, you saw where when I took the internal foot out of the hoof capsule, that the sole corium was very 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 thick okay well I want to show you just how thick thick it was by placing this this bone in here oh we gotta go wait for the next ten minutes <laughs>